Next on my list is the Russian Federation. I give the floor to the Russian Federation, please. Thank you, President. We are grateful to the Special Envoy, the Secretary General, Martin Griffiths, for his overview of the situation in Yemen and for the steps that he has been taking to revive a comprehensive negotiation process under the aegis of the UN. We'd like to thank Mark Lowcock for presenting his assessments of the humanitarian situation in the country, and we listen very carefully to Najib, uh, Najib al-Najjar. The Russian Federation has been closely following the situation in Yemen and its seventh year of acute military and political crisis. We've consistently advocated for parties in Yemen to as soon as possible end the violence and take steps towards a peaceful solution to existing disputes. There is no alternative to inter-Yemeni negotiations which take into account the interests and concerns of all. In this connection, we reiterate our support to the UN's efforts in this area. We're grateful to Martin Griffiths for the work that he's been done over years in Yemen and for his attempts to find solutions and launch negotiations between the parties. It has always been a complex task and far too much remains to be done to bring about peace. We'd express our concern as to regards the continuing violence in different areas of the country. At the same time, we do see our common end goal is a comprehensive and lasting solution to the manifold problems faced by Yemen and its people, and which are also felt to a significant extent in neighbours in the region. President, the question of a solution to the crisis in Yemen was discussed in detail in Sochi on 26th of May this year. And the Russian uh, Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation, Mr Lavrov, and the Minister for Foreign Affairs and Expatriates, Ahmed Ben Mubarak, who was in Russia on a working visit. We intend, intend to continue to actively encourage the official Yemeni authorities as well as the Ansar Allah movement and other Yemeni forces to be constructive and ready for compromise when considering existing differences. We welcome the constructive role played by regional uh, states in and their mediation efforts. President, we are convinced that a cessation of hostilities should be accompanied by confidence-building measures and political, military and social economic spheres which would help alleviate the dire situation faced by the Yemeni people, which the UN characterises as the gravest humanitarian crisis in the world. In this connection, we call on donors to put forward the necessary financial support to the UN humanitarian assistance work. At the same time, we'd underscore the need to fully lift the sea, land and air blockade of Yemen, as well as lift restrictions on the delivery of food, medicine, fuel and other vital goods. We'd recall that the assistance provided should not be biased or discriminatory. We're convinced that a mutually acceptable solution, free from a hidden political agenda, can be found, as can a solution to the problem posed by the Safir tanker. We'd call on the relevant parties, including UNOPS, to act constructively. President. We'd, in conclusion, I'd like to once again call on colleagues to cooperate in the common interest of de-escalation in the region, including based on relevant resolution of the Security Council 598 and also the Russian concept of collective security in the Persian Gulf. Thank you. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation for his statement.